All right, and the very last thing I'm gonna show you, this is a very, very long, very, very long uh, Facebook Live, is the ability to work with After Effects. Of course, many of you who've worked with Premiere before know that we have a direct link, a dynamic link into After Effects that allows you to um, do whatever you can inside of After Effects and non-destructively work between the two and only render at the very end. So if I wanted to say, I'm gonna send the shot over here. I can right click on this shot and I can choose replace with After Effects composition. If After Effects is not already running, it will launch After Effects and it's gonna ask you to give a name to the content. It'll create the composition in After Effects for you. And we'll just call this, here we'll place it, uh, let's place it right on the root of this drive. We'll call it ID01, all right? So here's our clip inside of After Effects. And let's just say, I just wanted to add some text to this for whatever reason, all right? We're gonna add some text. Uh, let's see, go into our paragraph here. I don't know if this is centered or not. I'm just going to type, oh, let's make this a lot bigger. Yep, all right. We'll type believer, okay? Believer. Okay, yes, that's it, all right? I can spell. Double click, let's make that even bigger. Let's go ahead and drag this down. Move it over like this, all right? And let's say that we wanted to do something like just really basic. And I'm just trying to show you that this is our dynamic link. So what we're doing here in After Effects will automatically be updated in real time on the Premiere Pro side. So let's go into one of our text presets here. I'm just gonna animate in something very simple. Uh, we're gonna fade up words, drag it onto the believer text, okay? All right? And it just kind of fades up believer like that, all right? If I now go back to Premiere Pro, where I have that shot, first and foremost, notice that the clip now changes to a .aep. This is telling us that we're actually using the After Effects project file running live, non-rendered, inside of Premiere. So if I wind back and play this. First things first. First things first. Pretty sweet, right? And any changes that we continue to make over in After Effects, whether it's text, color, animation, effects. Keep in mind that you have, again, dozens and dozens of effects inside of uh, After Effects, including a lot of third-party ones, similarly in, in Premiere, that you can apply to your footage. And whatever you do here, if you've got that dynamic link established over back in Premiere, you'll be able to see those, again, working in real time. You'll notice, again, that I'm also cutting here in one quarter res so I can get the best real-time playback. And then at the very end, you're ready to export. And to do your final export, you can, of course, go up to File, Export, Media. That'll bring you into the media encoder and you can choose your presets. And I would recommend going to H.264. And since this content is in 1080, go ahead and use our YouTube 1080 preset. This is the one that I'm, actually, we may have additional instructions about this uh, in the actual contest instructions here, but this is just an easy way to create that. Again, it'll match all the attributes appropriately and you'll be able to do your exports.